Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Get on up there, Jack from Mac for Jack's only six to eight dollars at sensational stores like Benson and Rick's and all Chicago suburban stores and Stifles Clothing, Gibson City, Illinois. Oh yeah! Oh! Wow! Who's there? Biondi. <laughs> yes, I would listen to Dick Biondi if he came back to Chicago. Dick who? I don't know, I just uh, liked him. Well, he had a nice personality. He was not. Biondi 68 joins the fun on WCF. And I know you want a makeup that's light and sheer, not heavy and obvious. Okay, that's one of the reasons they invented CoverGirl. It is light and sheer and natural with the kind of shades you want. But let's face it. I mean, you know, sometimes your complexion needs a little help. And that's cover. Uh, oh, well, that's next year. There was a little old man on the railroad track, and the train came along, and the helicopter came along, and the Indians, and everybody. Like that, ladies and gentlemen, I can't explain. But I will later. A lad named Stanley, skinny and frail, couldn't get a rise out of any scale. Bare, he barely made the darn thing tilt. Now Stanley loved young Shirley Brown, but Shirley put poor Stanley down. Alas and woe, he didn't have a bilk. Alas and woe, he didn't have a bilk. Down the scale, his future went. Then Stanley got some nutriment. He downed it things started looking up. And as his weight began to rise, he saw love in Shirley's eyes. A can of Nutriment was Stanley's loving cup. Nutriment was Stanley's loving cup. Now he's finally made the weight, and Shirley waits to get a date. Stan the man really gets around. You see, with Nutriment, it's plain that when you've got a lot to gain, it's a groovy put on pound for pound. Nutriment, drink it to gain weight. And then go out and throw your weight around. I am a skinny guy. Oh. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, oh, pour it on. Taste that beats the others cold. Pepsi pours it on.
Radio National Anthem, ladies and gentlemen, we sign off this portion of the Ross Bertone Radio Program as the sun sinks in the west and rises in the east and stars come out at night and your teeth too as well. This is WCFL News. The White Sox lost their first game of a doubleheader to the Kansas City A's 5-2 this evening. In the second game in the second inning, they're scoreless. The White Sox now a full game behind league-leading Minnesota. FBI agents and sheriff's police arrested eight syndicate figures tonight in a raid and a home in River Forest. The girl is in my aeroplane, a jolly place to entertain. But here's a fact I ought to mention. I make them help me clean the engine. When they get filthy, I always scream, wash with Noxema, a washing cream. It takes off all the dirt and dross and fights skin troubles while you wash. Since I got that little blue jar, I even helped clean his motor car. And I'm so glad my skin looks good, because it's so cozy under the hood. Morning and night, wash with Noxema. It cleans clean like soap. Medicaid surface blemishes while it cleans. Then, rinse with water. Put extra Noxema on trouble spots. It's invisible. Get Noxema skin cream, sweetie pie. It's the proven way to help clear up your skin trouble. King B here sends that kazoo to Lou. WCFL Chicago Live. The Rex King All Night Radio Program, Dick Biani, premieres next Monday. And it's now time, I know that's on anywhere, for Mr. Rex King himself. Ah, their friends and neighbors out there along the radio line. Oh, thank you for them cards and letters, Ron. I want to say this. Get away from me, girls. So many people have been asking me, Rex, where do you come from? And I like to say right now where it come from. Well, as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, I come from a very rich family. My brother's worth $50,000, dead or alive. I was born at the age of two and spent the next eight years in the hospital. Couldn't pay the bill. I, was, I wasn't exactly born, though. One day they emptied out the vacuum cleaner bag, and there I was. Oh, I had long blonde curls until I was ten, which was very embarrassing. All the boys thought I was a girl. Of course, there was a bright side to it, because all the girls thought I was a girl, too. I won't say my parents were sneaky, but while I was going to school, they moved. I didn't mind that, but they didn't leave any forwarding address. I know what a large family I come from. 
The house was so crowded, I was 16 before I could get in the bathroom. But boy, I was so sexy. Girls carried my books home from school. I was sometimes known as the King Fruk of PS73. I'd like to sing the weather for Chicago tonight. You know, I come from a seafaring family, too, I might add. My brother's on the ocean. My uncle's up the river, and I'm up the creek. Tonight, cloudy and windy and chilly and showers likely. Oh, why, why, why does it have to rain and get so cold? Good night, Preach, my dear friend, you're about to receive on John Barleycorn, nicotine, and the temptations of Eve. <laughs> Plane crashes take at least 13 lives. The tale's in 13 minutes. Now, participating Sinclair dealers give solid gold. The saving stamp for people who hate saving stamps. Solid gold works just like cash. This is attention to lose ever was. When you go to your father's mustachy nightclub with its banjo band and beer and peanuts and sing-along crowds, you get run over by a steamroller called Nostalgia. Yeah. And on October the 28th, that's the same nightclub is going to be run over by a disc Johnny named Ron Rizzoni. Hey, that's me. Whee! And the over 21 kazoo band. Pick up your kazoo at your father's mustache club at 865. Wow. You're America's first psychedelic disc Johnny. If you ask me what, what? Wama Gucci is, I'll punch you right in the nose, Sam Bird. 865 North State Street or right to the E for one. You must be over 21 and love to play that kazoo psychedelically, too, to qualify. To get in the fun. <laughs> You're just a nobody if you don't have a kazoo. 222 1990, the audition line is open. A stool pigeon, a ruthless killer, the syndicate bosses. These are the people who meet Ironside this week. They'll regret it. You won't. Raymond Burr is Ironside, a cop in a wheelchair. But that doesn't slow him down. He plays the game fast, hard, and tough. See Burr as Ironside in color on the NBC Television Network. Tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. on Chanel 5. Hey, mm. hey! Ain't you ashamed? You're trying to steal an old lady's automobile. Oh, go on now. What you talking about? I've been thinking about buying me one. He was out front trying to steal her mother's car. Bonnie and Clyde. That's how they met. Soon she was proud of her new identity. Once she told a stranger... I'm Miss Bonnie Parker, and this here's Mr. Clyde Barrow. We rob banks. We rob banks. Just like that. And man, they did. And a lot of other things, too. From Warner Brothers, Seven Arts, and Technicolor, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway are Bonnie and Clyde. They're young. They're in love. And they kill people. See Bonnie and Clyde now at the Woods Theater. Oh! Chicago, you say. Brainbuster, today's pearls of wisdom philosophy to ease the tensions of daily living and to help us face each day with new understanding. From the inspired pen of Marco Marcoco, who reminds you that this is national, idolize a drunken bum who has stranded his wife and children. And now, our thought for the day. I am often inspired by the lovely love poem by Bernard Bouncley, and it goes like this. I like your style, I like your smile, I like your walk, I like your talk, but I don't like you. When I'm walking hand in hand. You wash your face anyway, so wash it with Bactine Skin Cream. And stop worrying. 
Barney Phipps, showtime at five minutes past the hour at nine. Barney? Ron, I love limericks. I think it's uh, America's uh, first oral literature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wrote one. There was a girl named Bobby. Singing was her hobby. She didn't have time for boys. Not till I hit a record was her noise. She worked all day and no time... Uh, no, let's see. She worked all night. I just made it up. She worked all night and no time for pantry. Now Billy's, Bobby's, gentry. <laughs> oh! That's a beautiful... Stand by for a moment. <laughs> In quick review for you, WCFL Capsule Countdown on Chicago 10. Review Chicago's 10 on Chicago 10. WCFL Capsule Countdown. Still another verse from Chicago's WCFL. That's Honestly, Daphne, I don't know why I ever visit you. All these screaming children. Are you sure they're all yours? There should be about five. No wonder Reggie commutes to the city. It must cost a fortune to keep them in shoes. Not when you buy them at Kinney's, Elvira. They're beautiful shoes, beautifully priced. There are $35 worth of educator royals running around out in that yard. They're Kinney's children's shoes that wear and wear. Smashing. And these shoes I'm wearing are part of a closet full of Kinney flings I bought. Square toes, sling backs, cropped heels. Start at just $5.99. Stunning. Reggie's at Kinney's right now. He drove over to buy himself several pairs of Stuart Holmes in the latest fall style. Expensive. As low as $12.99. There he is now. In a humbly Martin XP700, the world's third most expensive sports car. Bought it with the money we saved at Kinney's. Elvira, where are you going? To Dr. Tammany, darling, so I can save up at Kinney shoes for my very own humbly Martin. Mm -hmm. There are 45 Kinney shoe stalls to serve in Chicagoland, where you can charge your purchases on your Midwest Bank charge card. Check your phone book for the store nearest you to do. Ooh. Who is that? Dino, Desi, and Wilhelm? Boogalooing and shingalinging. With a minuet beat. A rapper and tired tune, Kitty's Doyle. Kitty Doyle. 